Okay, so today we have Anushka Mishra with us, who is my junior at NLU and who was also a student at Success Group. So Anushka, would you like to introduce yourself? Okay, so hello everyone. I'm Anushka Mishra and I'm originally from Bhuvneshwar, Odisha only. And again, as Prakabhi already introduced me, I'm currently a first year student at uh, NLU Odisha. Okay, so Anushka, uh, how would you describe your entire experience in the entire prep of your plan 2021 to then? Okay, so uh, if I begin, uh, CLAT wasn't uh, my first plan. I mean, law, uh, pursuing law wasn't my first plan. But then initially, I had uh, started preparing from 11th only, but that wasn't, you know, pura full into it. So, uh, but in uh, eventually, when I got into all the specific the nit grids, I started liking all the subjects that were in it. And so by the time I got serious, it was very late. So I roughly had like three to four months to prepare for it. And so the whole journey for me was very stressful, I would say stressful and hectic because there was so much to cover and so less time. So yes, it was a little bit of hard, but then it was all worth it again. Okay, so you were a fresher or a dropper? I am a fresher. So how did you manage your class well as well along with the preparation? So COVID was uh, like a blessing in disguise for all of us because uh, as, as I said, my again, main focus was boards only, but then uh, it got postponed and then it got cancelled. So I got a lot of time. So that's why no more needing to, you know, balance 12th boards and CLAT. So full on focus on CLAT only. Okay. So there might be some tough subjects. Okay. I'm saying, I'm going to go to and it's a problem. So how mm-hmm. did you manage those subjects? For me, tough to maths, quantitative techniques, it was a hell for me. Even though I had maths um, made a 12th May, but still I wasn't clear on the basics and the fundamentals, which is required. You know, the most basic thing you need to know, have need to have the knowledge about. So merely maths was uh, very tough. So I, um, what I did was I started watching videos on YouTube. So all the uh, all the topics which you need to cover, I wrote it down on a piece of paper. And then all the strategy making videos and how to solve faster. And I watched all those videos so to clear my concept. And then everyday practice, which goes without saying. So practicing every day and uh, watching YouTube and timing yourself which is again very important these three things helped me a lot in you know overcoming my fear of maths okay so there also might be some phases when you had a toll on your mental health and there might be some pressure pressure circumstances and situations as well so how did you cope with all of that well Pressure on me, as I said, so much to cover in so less time. Uh, the last two months, me, Mera, I totally lost my sanity, I would say. I wasn't eating. I wasn't sleeping. I was just studying and revising and studying and revising. So this was a mis- uh, mistake I did, but I would advise to all the future aspirants to not make it at all because you need to sleep and you need to eat. <laughs> that is very important. You know, you need to survive to give the exam only. So, but uh, to cope through all of it, uh, I used to, you know, uh, I'm not that religious, but I tried meditating and, you know, uh, sitting, you know, calming my mind for some time. And then uh, I had deactivated everything, my social media, and I had cut off people, not talking to anyone, nothing. So uh, I used to take out uh, one or two hours from my daily routine to just sit and do whatever I wanted. Like I wanted to watch something, so I watched something. And very rarely did I talk to anyone. So the only escape for me was to watch something on Netflix or Prime or whatever you can Name. So my next question was also regarding your social media usage. So mm-hmm. you told me that your you deactivated all those accounts. So do you think that you should do that? Her aspirant ko, would you recommend that? Usse kuch, uh, result mila humko improvement hua ya fir kuch, I yeah. would recommend yes because uh, 
एक तो सोशल मीडिया डिस्ट्रैक्शन ये तो सबको पता ही है सो so, तुम पढ़ रहे हो एंड यू आर प्रिपेयरिंग एंड यू आर डिवोटिंग ऑल योर टाइम हेयर एंड ऑल योर फ्रेंड्स आर रोमिंग अराउंड एंड तुम उसको देखते हो एंड देन अगेन यू रिग्रेट कि यार मैं तो यहाँ पे बैठ के पढ़ रही हूँ और मेरे दोस्त लोग वहां पे घूम रहे हैं एंड देन यू यू नो स्टार्ट ओवर थिंकिंग एंड गो एंड दिट सर्कल तो तुम्हारा पढ़ने में से ध्यान ही चला जाता है तुम बाकी के चीजों के बारे में सोचते हो वो वहां घूम रही है वो ये कर रहा है ये वो कर रही है बट मैं यहाँ पे देखो क्या कर रही हूँ एंड uh, फिर टेक्स्ट uh, आते रहते हैं एक बार टेक्स्ट आ गया और तुम बात करना चालू किए तो वो खत्म ही नहीं होता तो आई वुड टू स्ट्रॉन्गली सजेस्ट कि डीएक्टिवेट योर सोशल मीडिया बिकॉज दिस इज वॉट मैटर्स दिस इज यू नो द ब्रेक और डू और डाई पीरियड अगर वो ही टाइम पे तुम डिस्ट्रैक्ट हो गए तो फिर फायदा ही क्या हुआ इतने टाइम का प्रिपेरेशन करने का also to uh, that means ke what argument you are putting forward is ke hamare brain ko hum jitna zyada in sab cheezon se dur rakhenge extra information jo hamare brain ke paas consume nahi kar payega to us pe uska dhyan nahi jata hai so that was what you were saying theek hai also uh, please elaborate on the role of success board in your entire preparation okay success board uh, i came across um, i started preparation late only but uh, again later i found out about success board so one thing which i loved about success board was the gk companions like all the companions all the materials which you provide they were i mean absolutely to die for the um, आई गेस बहुत सारे मेन जी के क्वेश्चन एक दो थे जो कि डायरेक्टली सक्सेस बोर्ड कम्पेनियम से भी आए थे दिस ईयर के क्वेश्चन पेपर में सो द कम्पेनियम्स एंड द ऑनलाइन मटीरियल द मॉक क्वेश्चन ऑल्सो द एंड मोमेंट पे जब लीगल एज के कोई कोई करता है एंड यू नो स्कोर या तो गिर जाते हैं या तो स्टैगनेट हो जाते हैं तो वो टाइम पे सक्सेस uh, बोर्ड का जो क्वेश्चन पेपर का लेवल है एंड क्लैट का जो क्वेश्चन पेपर का लेवल है यू नो काफी आसपास है तो उसमें अगर तुम्हारा आई मीन इट इज इजियर टू स्कोर इन सक्सेस बोर्ड के मार्क्स अगेन दैट इज नॉट अ डिसएडवांटेज दैट ये तुम्हारा क्या बोलते मोरल बूस्ट करने के लिए ही हेल्प करेगा एंड द क्वेश्चन वर ऑल्सो ऑसम एंड वन अनादर थिंग विच आई लाइक वर दी जी पी तुम जैसे कि स्ट्रेस हो रहा है या फिर तुम पढ़ाई नहीं हो रही है ध्यान नहीं लग रहा है तो यू यू नो गेट इन दैट फेज कि अब क्या करूं कुछ नहीं होने वाला एंड देन यू स्टार्ट ओवर थिंकिंग एंड तुम्हारा पढ़ाई तो वैसे ही रुक ही जाता है तो उस टाइम पे द जीपी सेशन वर अ रिलीफ बिकॉज वो टाइम पे uh, आप प्रगर भैया एंड गोविंद भैया दोनों ही हमको गाइड करते हैं कि uh, कैसे क्या करना है ये तुम इस स्टेज पे हो तो कैसे स्ट्रेटेजाइज करना है एंड ऑल्सो बाकी तुम्हारे जैसे प्योर्स है जो भी तुम्हारे बैचमेट्स है वो भी अपना प्रॉब्लम पुट फोर्थ करते तो यू रियलाइज की यू नॉट दी ओनली वन हू स्ट्रगलिंग सो यू गेट दैट यू नो कि हाँ मैं नहीं बाकी सब भी हैं एंड आई एम नॉट दी ओनली वन स्टक हियर सो दैट इज ओके ओके सो वन लास्ट क्वेश्चन uh what would be the tips that you would give to the clat 2022 aspirants keeping the fact in mind ke we bas 6 7 months are left in the preparation uh, mm-hmm. so again don't make the mistakes i did start your preparation as early as possible because wo tumko ek edge deta hai uh because you already know your concepts and n months mein tumko bas revise karna hai aur mocks dena hai mocks uh jitna de sako attempt as many mocks as you can and sirf attempt nahi karna unko analyze bhi karna bahut important hai so analyzing and attempting mocks that becomes very important then third would be um, do not uh, ignore your health or your mental health jo bhi physical health and mental health dono because this is just an exam ye ek part of life hai and you do not need to stress so much about it ki tumhara tabiyat hi kharab ho jaye so you have to balance your health also and your academics also that's it or kya aur mere paas tips yaad aayenge to main bol dungi baad mein okay so thank you so much anushka for taking out your time uh, i hope you enjoy your next five years in the in nlu and especially we'll enjoy that together as well okay so thank you so much once again thank you thank you